Fredericks. I've seen a lot of you in here before. Um, I am the uh, digital marketing administrator for the company. So if it's on a screen and it has to do with marketing in any way, shape or form, it has probably passed my desk. Um, I also help head up the web support team, which of course helps with any of the digital marketing or advertising or any of the programs that we have available that we've been showing you lately. So today we are going to talk about website templates. So for those of you who are on the town side, this is going to be your site builder product. Um, that's our official term for it is site builder. And for those who are coming in from Rose and Womble, you guys call these things right now the EAWs, the enhanced agent websites. This is our version of it, and this is what we'll be transitioning the EAWs to in the future. And we have been starting that process already, trying to make sure that we get all of the information <laughs> off of your websites um, and everything that's really important to you and uh, working with agents um, to make sure that's all ready and set to go. But we want to also show you some of the things that are available on this side as well. So let me go ahead and share my screen. I'm actually going to show you a couple of examples um, of the websites, and then I'm going to go ahead and go into uh, RWT Connect, and I'm going to show you where you can find those templates and um, how you can choose different layouts and what's available in there. So let me go ahead and share my screen, and let's just start out with some live templates here first and foremost. All right, so this is my training account, Mary Agent. Uh, you will see her fairly often. Mary Agent is a very prolific agent when I'm training. Um, you can see this is a uh, one of the templates that we have. This one doesn't happen to be filled in with uh, live data, of course, because it is a training account but I wanted to show this one because it's one of the newer templates we have, and I don't have a whole lot of agents on this one yet um, to be able to show you. So I figured I would go ahead and put it on my training account so you can see some of the, the different layouts that are available. When we're looking at these layouts for these templates, yes, they are templates, but they're also very customizable. You're going to notice that there's like color bars in here. You're going to see text options. You're going to see background photos and background videos and things like that. I want you to know that when you're looking at these templates that everything is customizable. The only thing that's really static, things that we can't move, will be the location of those actual items. So for example, on this website, you're going to notice that the navigation bar is up there at the top. Our branding is up there at the top. Where that search bar is, is in that center screen there. We call this the hero, just for reference in the future. So we can't change the location of that navigation bar. We can certainly change what's on the navigation bar. We can't change the location of the search, but we can change the photos behind it. We can change this text where it says, find your new home here. You're going to notice that there's other sections in here that are going to allow you to put things like text, just lots of text. Um, this section actually can support a, an additional photo as well if we wanted to put something in there. So we can't change the location of that, but we can certainly customize it with the color background and what the text that um, is located on it. The nice thing about these templates as well is that um, many of them support what we call the hide and show feature. So for example, this little section here is just in case somebody is logged in and they want to see their recent favorite properties that they've saved or their recent saved searches that they've created on your website. If we don't necessarily want to show this, maybe we don't work with a lot of buyers, maybe we're a seller's agent and we just don't have a lot of people logging into our website, we can always just hide this section. So the nice thing that happens is, is it doesn't show up blank. Everything that's below it just moves up. You'll notice on our templates too, we have lots of different options. And as we go through, you'll see where these are available. So for example, this is a section, we could use this for anything. Um, right now I have this set up for uh, waterfront homes in Virginia Beach. I can choose the two photos in the background. I can choose the text. I can choose where this link goes to one of my saved searches. Again, same thing, contemporary homes starting at 1 million. I've chosen the photos in the background. I can choose uh, the options of where that search goes. We have multiple calls to action. I like to be able to do this so you can see that some of these calls to action will be customizable. So for example, this one, I could leave it blank if I just wanted to say property watch, click here, contact, click here. But this whole valuation, I've gone ahead and put in some text in here just so that you can see what that looks like. And then of course, down at the bottom, this is a static footer for everyone. All of this information comes in based on the office that you're in. Um, it's also based on the information that's in your profile. So it's gonna pull in all that direct phone number. It's gonna pull in your social media links and um, your designations. And of course, there is gonna be a um, contact form on the bottom of every single website for everyone as well. 
I do want you to notice at the very, very bottom here, we have all sorts of fun things. Um, the websites do qualify for what we call one click. So for those of you who are doing any kind of um, advertising where you have a link going off to your website, maybe on social media or something like that, and you need to make sure that it follows that one click policy where we have all of our disclosures, disclaimers, um, we have all of our contact information, we have all of our office locations, we have equal housing opportunity. Everything is going to be there on the bottom of every single page on the website. So every single page on your website is going to be considered one click compliant. So this is available on every single uh, website on the very bottom. All right, let's take a look at a couple of other templates. Obviously, this is again my just training template, but I want to show you this design. Um, I've got a random selection up here so we can take a look. The first one I want to go to, though, is Ralston's. Uh, of course, Ralston is our marketing director um, on the town side over here, and we use his account as both our uh, training account, but also just to show examples of all sorts of things that you can do on the website. So RalstonAudain.com is a great place for you to kind of check things out. You'll notice that he doesn't have a static image on the background. He actually has a video playing. We have multiple templates that support video or they support a slideshow or they support a static image. It just depends on which template it would be. But you can actually see on his website here, we have lots of different pages that are automatically available on everyone's websites. We call those global pages. They're just automatically built into your site. All sorts of fun things here. We have lots of different kinds of system lead pages. We have neighborhood reports. Um, I'll you know, proper different kinds of property search. We have multiple MLSs um, installed in the property search that everyone has access to. Of course, there's that how much is my home worth tool. We've talked about the buy side tool before already. And then lots of different ways to, to show what kind of contact information you have. But let's just take a look at his template really quickly. I want you to see that we have some featured listings on here. Now, don't forget, Ralston is not an active uh, broker. He does not sell. Um, he just helps us all with our marketing. Um, and But he has listings on his website because what he's done is he's borrowed them. So I love the fact that these websites are always made so that you look amazing. You can set your featured listings on your website to feature your own listings. If for whatever reason you don't have a listing at that time, it's just going to backfill with your office listings. So you always have featured listings on your property. Um, you can sort those featured listings in uh, different price ranges. You can sort it by different types, just depends on what kind of niche market you're looking at. Um, but the website is always set up to make sure that you look good, to make sure that if you have a featured property section, you always have featured properties in it, whether it's your own listings or whether you've borrowed office listings. You can either you can even set it so you can borrow multiple office listings. You can even set it to that you can have specific listings on there. So the featured properties have lots of different kinds of settings in there. This one happens to be a nice white and bright uh, template where you've got some of these big call outs. We've used this one with a Warren Buffett quote, but this is normally where a testimonial would go. And his call outs are a little bit different. These four call outs on his website can be anything we want. So in his case, we have the home value report, visit open houses, property watch, and our luxury home collection. All of these boxes can be changed. They can be anything you want. So if you wanted to do the home value report and uh, three additional featured neighborhoods, or you wanted to do any other kind of call out in here, maybe pushing people off to your social media, you could do that as well. Um, his template happens to have a bio section here at the bottom. And then of course, there's that static information. Now, I want you to take a look at this. We happen to have his set up as two different offices. He's in the corporate office, but he's also in what we consider our agent services office. For those agents who might work out of two different offices, maybe uh, property management, commercial, new homes comes to mind, um, where you may be out of the new homes division, but you actually are physically located in another location. Same with property managers and things like that. We can actually display two different offices there if we need to. I'm just going to show you some examples of some uh, real agents who are set up on our system right now, just so you can kind of see the difference um, in all of the templates. Uh, this one happens to be Lizette's website. She is doing a slideshow in the back, so she doesn't have a video. But I want you to notice that these elements, again, we can't change the locations, but we can certainly change um, all the customizations in the background. So she has chosen a really graphic heavy website. So her call outs have a nice graphic behind it or her about me. She's obviously used a photo. I want you to remember all of these boxes are customizable. I don't have to use that about me. Is it about her? Um, I have another agent who uses this similar template. She has it set up as a very military heavy website. And that location is all about PCSing to our area. So the whole thing just pushes off to her, her military um, information. So all of these boxes and things like that are, are very customizable. Yeah. Here's her featured properties. Again, these may or may not be her listings. They're probably her office listings on here, but we have featured properties. 
Um, again, we could use these boxes for whatever we'd like. She has her set up for testimonials, and then she wanted to push off to some neighborhood reports on some very specific neighborhoods she markets. And then you can get to know her. And again, all of these photos in the background are customizable. We do have a, a very large library of images that you can choose from, both from our vendor, our local markets, and then you can also upload your own if you need to. So this is, uh, let's see, Bobby Lawrence's website here. I want you to notice a, a couple of changes here. Notice that his branding is up here at the top with us. This is an option. So I'm going to go back to Lizette real quick. Um, she opted for the default, which is just her name up here at the top with her license number in it. Um, but you can change it to um, actually have your agent branding up there too, if you have some additional um, uh, artwork that you need to put up there. His is a little bit different. Again, graphic heavy, very light and bright. And we've moved some things around here for him. This is uh, Sherry Visser. She's out of our Williamsburg office, and she has chosen a very different um, template from a lot of other people. And this is her color scheme for all of her marketing. She has this kind of soft pink with this gray. So this certainly goes with all of her direct mail that she's sending out and all of her online marketing as well. And again, she is designing these boxes to say whatever she wants it to say. And of course, she has her bio down here at the bottom. Uh, this is uh, another one of our Sherry's. Uh, this is Sherry Mulhair. And again, she's got this very kind of Pinterest Instagram feel to her website. Again, this is a template. We can't change the, the location of that search, but we can certainly change all of these boxes to be something different um, and all of these background photos as well. Amanda Emanuel, she comes out of one of our Suffolk offices in the Harborview location. Um, she had a great photo shoot done with a professional photographer. She wanted that big photo up front. And then she talks about herself down below and she actually has a social wall in here. She's super heavy into social media. She does a lot of live. She does a lot of quick videos. She does a lot of open houses um, and she's chosen to go ahead and have her social wall on here. And then she's using her text boxes to push off to Instagram and Facebook. And then, of course, she has her bio here at the bottom. So we're only talking about templates right now, but I do want you to know that it does the websites do support unlimited in what we call interior pages. So you'll see that they push off to lots of different things on the website, different bio pages, um, different neighborhood reports and things like that. We're actually going to do that in an additional class. So if you see the class coming up that says your website and I think it says interior pages or extra pages or something like that, that's the class where we're going to show you all the different options that are available as far as um, the different kinds of pages you can put on on your website. Uh, this is Scott Meredith. His is a little bit um, more square. He has a bio that's right up front and some more information and of course his featured properties. This is one of our team websites. I wanted to show you this. So for those of you who are on a team um, or contemplating a team in the future, we do support team websites. So the team can have a full website of its own, and then we can actually push off to individual people with their own websites if you'd like. Or we have teams where the whole team just uses the team website and they don't have their individuals. Um, it's up to you. It's something we do when we do setups with teams. So this is the uh, Linda Fox Jarvis team here. Uh, great team photo. They have different featured properties and a montage here some basic text, um, some of their information, some call outs. But this is one of the things I wanted to introduce here. As we go take a look at these layouts, I want you to take a look for the word team roster. If you're on a team um, and you're looking to do a team website, um, if the template says team roster on it, it means that something like this is available. So all of these people are assigned to the team. So it automatically makes a team roster here at the bottom. So you can actually see that we can go ahead and click off to any of these people here. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Um, and you can go to either their individual websites or information about them here at the bottom. So this is a team roster. Uh, Jackie Fegan. Uh, she has chosen to have a video in the background, and this is, of course, our local area. So this is uh, focusing here on Virginia Beach. Nice video here in the background. And again, here's a good example. She has one listing right now, and she has it set up so that she only wants her, her listing shown. So this listing is the only one that's shown on the featured property. If this one happens to go under contract today or if it sells, depending on how she has it set up, we can actually set it up to show pendings or not. Um, if this one happens to go under contract today, it'll just go ahead and backfill this featured location with, again, office listing. So it never looks blank and it never looks bad. And again, she's gone down and done some different boxes here for herself. Here's another video, but this one is very customized. So this one happens to be Josh Parnell's. 
So I want you to notice that he actually has his branding up here in the video. This was provided by one of his videographers um, who does a lot of his aerial work for his different listings. So we have branding up here at the top. Um, and then of course we have this great aerial video. And then coming down, we do support these really large photos sometimes. These do require you to have high resolution photos that are normally um, done by a professional and they have to be very wide in order to do this kind of uh, marketing here. But then we have lots and lots of different featured properties. And again, all these backgrounds and different pieces. I have a lot of agents who use this site, um, this particular one for a testimonial. So they might put a picture of one of their happy clients over here in the circle and use it as a testimonial. But in this case, Josh is actually using it for his resume here on the front. This is another one of our agents, Brenda Fisher. She's coming out of our um, Newport News office. She focuses on Newport News and that Gloucester area. So we have something obviously that's more related to um, the Coleman Bridge. And there's her featured listings. And then again about Brenda. Susan Pender has um, a different type of website where she's actually using her slider up here at the top for featured listings. This is a totally different template that we have. Search bar is below, and then it's very heavy into neighborhoods. And then information here. And again, those boxes can be designed to be anything you want. This happens to be um, this happens to be uh, communities, but it could be anything. Uh, Dana Robbins, she's actually coming again out of one of our peninsula offices. She has very specific branding. She has um, an entire brand called Robbins Nest Realtor. So this is her brand. This is her logo here. Everything that she does is this great kind of Robbins egg blue turquoisey light turquoisey color. Everything she has is this. So her website was designed to um, obviously mimic this and it's very heavy into this particular color that she likes to use. Um, and it, notice we do support things like embedded videos on here and a little bit different look here. This is Olivia Salyer. I want you to know she has a similar color scheme um, to Dana. She's out of our Williamsburg office, but the website looks completely different. Um, she has a bio page here and again some additional information down here at the bottom. Alicia Ford has gone with one of our templates that actually supports a lot of black and white photography. It's very sharp and very stark. It looks great. I want you to notice too that we do support things like um, different widgets and things like that. So if you wanted to install, for example, the Facebook Messenger widget, um, we do support that. Or if you're bringing like a third party um, chat function or something like that, we do have the ability to go ahead and install those on these websites. Hers is a little bit different. So she has the roll over here where you go from a colored photo to a black and white photo. It's very pretty. We use this a lot for some of our luxury um, collection agents. And then again, she has that great embedded video and embedded site here. And then she is another one who has gone ahead and installed a social wall and some, again, some additional options. And then uh, last but not least, I'm going to go with John Decker here. Um, so he does have a very, very graphic heavy website with mostly background photos. Um, and he just likes to be able to push people off into his essentially interior pages or just a search. So he's going to have that very kind of dark uh, look. It's very rich looking. Um, and these big, big background photos of some of his listings here. And then his services and then of course his featured listings down here at the bottom. So one of the things I want you to take away and one of the reasons I show this many um, different templates is that all of these agents look different um, it, between their color choices, between their background photos, um, what they say, what they're focused on, what's in their navigation bar. Even though we have templated sites, um, they can also be very highly customized to be able to meet your needs. So let's take a look at the different templates here real quick. And I'll show you where those are. So I've already gone ahead and I'm logged into RWT Connect. And you're going to see this button here at the top called Site Builder. And again, we've broken this Site Builder stuff down into multiple classes here. So today we're just focusing on these templates. So you can get an idea of what's available. And then we'll go ahead and do some additional classes on doing some of the really fancy stuff, the interior pages, um, how to market it. We'll do some classes on SEO and things like that in the future. From the Site Builder uh, section here, we're going to go to Collections, and then we're going to go to Layouts. And this is where you're going to find all the different templates. Now, we add templates from time to time. Uh, we're due for some new templates here shortly. Um, usually, they install another you know, three to four templates. We try to do this maybe once a quarter or so, um, so that we can always switch out templates for certain people. And I want you to, again, preference this with just remember, we're just looking at the elements and where they're located. Ignore the names, ignore the background photos. All of that can be changed. 
Um, so some of this is just for inspiration purposes only. So when you're looking at these templates, I'm actually going to blow this up just a little bit here for you guys. There we go. When you're looking at these templates, so what you're going to see here are the different elements. So we know, for example, on this Cape Cod video template that it's going to have text above the search bar. The search bar is right here. Sorry, every time I roll over this, it's going to show us what's available on it. And it's going to have that background photo um, with those customizable uh, calls to action. We don't usually use the slideshows for agent websites, but they're there. Um, here's the Gaskell. And again, there's that search bar at the bottom. It's going to have that big photo. It's going to have some text you can change, and that's where the navigation bar is going to be located. Same thing here with that Monterey. Ignore the photo in the back. Ignore the color. All of that can be changed. Um, but you'll notice just where the different elements are here. So lots and lots of different websites that are available. Santa Fe Sun is actually one of my favorite websites to put people on, um, especially who need a lot of things. So again, ignore the names and ignore the photo suggestions in the back. They're just there for inspiration. A couple of these templates you might recognize from some things we just showed you. Uh, for those of you who are heavily into commercial, we do have some commercial forward facing templates for you that are available in here as well. Our property managers usually use one of our templates that are not commercial because they can be altered for either uh, residential resale, new homes or property management. So different websites here. Farm and Ranch One is one of my favorites. Believe it or not, one of our top luxury agents is on Farm and Ranch One and we've changed this to be a whole kind of black and white theme and it's really dramatic and it looks amazing. So it has nothing to do with Farm and Ranch at all. And again, you can change all of these different photos. Normally this is side by side, so it goes a little bit faster. Um, Home and Living is one of our favorite templates here just because the, the agent photo is uh, much higher on the page um, and it's a very basic photo, but there's a lot of customizations you can do to it, especially in the colors. We have a template here that's very focused on what is my home worth. Um, so it has that giant what is my home worth bar right below the hero section. Uh, really popular for those agents who love to do a lot of work with the how much is your home worth tool. Here we start to get into some of these more dramatic templates with some of this scripty, scripty font. Things like that. Um, here we are into some of those slideshows. You can see their slideshows because they have the, the pieces that are kind of showing off to the side here. More templates. Getting into a couple of templates that I would really like to show you down here. Um, these are very agent forward templates. So a couple of you may be going, well, the agent photos are um, too far down on the page. That's okay. Um, we have a whole set of photos or a whole set of templates. These are fairly new um, that have that agent photo right up front. So for example, this Aspen, the agent photo is always in the header bar where the navigation tab is. Um, the Chicago, there's that big agent photo right there for you. Los Angeles, same thing. These work great, by the way, if you have um, a team of like two to four people and you have that photo because these sections actually expand with the photo. We do have manager templates as well. So for those of you who are um, managing brokers or um, you are other managers in the company, uh, we do have manager templates that are very recruiting and career focused as well. You can also um, put some of the tools on there just to be able to show them off if you want to. And again, we're just getting down into Lots and lots of different templates here. Here's the Gropius, the one that I showed you earlier. Notice this one is shown in black and white here, but I showed it to you in that Cabernet color. And again, it can be any color, but this is how it actually looks with the, the black and white. And we're gonna get down into some of these templates that have those huge photos. And again, you don't have to use this with a big headshot. If you wanna do this great ocean view or a great farm view or a great urban view in the back, go ahead and do that. Again, this is just for inspiration here. We don't have to use it with big, big headshots or anything else. And we're get down here. All right, I'm going to go all the way back to the top here. I'm actually going to go to the Gaskell template just because it makes my life easy here. Um, anytime you want to take a look at the templates, you can roll over them and it's going to tell you what's available on them. So in this particular case with the Gaskell template, um, you're going to be able to see you have editable hero text and background image. You can have the background video if you want it, but you don't have to have it. Um, it's going to have editable text areas. So you can have text areas where you can put custom, custom paragraphs if you want to. It has four featured listings, an area for a testimonial, four custom calls to action, and the hide and show section. So again, if you don't want to use something, you can always hide it. Not every single one of our older templates has the hide and show. So if that's important to you, make sure that you check one that has it. Again, 
If you have a video that you want to play in the background, um, or if you're looking uh, for us to be able to load one of our videos in the background that we have on stock, um, we just need to make sure that uh, whatever template you choose has a video background available on it as well. So this one is called the Gaskell Expanded. It means it has a little bit extra stuff in there. Um, and one of the things that it has is an extra text area. So if you need that extra text area, maybe you have a team or you have a very niche market that you want to promote and you need that extra text area, um, that's going to be available in here. But if we continue to roll over, you'll be able to see things in here. So like this Monterey one, I love this template, um, but it doesn't support video. So if that's important to you, you're going to want to make sure that you know that. Um, but it does have more community tiles, more customizable boxes, um, different areas and things like that. Notice that this particular one does not have hide and show. So in order for this one to be published, we'd actually have to fill in all of this information that they need in order to publish it. Same thing here. I'm just going to go down to here's our Santa Fe. And again, it's just going to show you all the different things that are available here. This one does support video. It has five custom calls to action. It only has three featured listings. We do have templates that have a lot of featured listings. So if you are someone who loves listings on their homepage, um, we go up to 16 featured listings, I believe. And uh, so there's some of those templates that have more featured listings are available down there. If you see a template that you happen to like, you can always preview it. It's going to show you what your basic information you already have and what it will look like in this new template. So again, you can just take a look. The only thing that's not going to show on here would be your featured properties. Um, that's the only section, again, that's not going to show on here. I haven't filled in any of this artwork on these boxes, but obviously this is going to have some artwork up here if I needed it to. And you can kind of just see what that looks like. If it's a template that you love and you want to go ahead and try it, and you want to see what it looks like, you can go ahead and select template. It's going to ask if you want to overwrite your existing homepage. Now, it's not going to launch. That's OK. Um, all it's going to do is it's going to load it into our editor here. And for those of you who have taken some of the classes previously on the RWT Connect, you'll remember that our preview of what whatever we're doing is going to be over here on the right. And whatever we can do to it is going to be over here on the left hand side. So in this case, here's my Mary agent template. And again, um, this is the new one that I just chose. So my my bars have gone away here and I can go ahead and start editing this template. And it has gone ahead and just filled in some basic information here for me on these different templates. So I'm going to stop here for today just because we've talked about templates. And again, I have these broken down into individual classes going forward, but I'm happy to answer any questions about the actual templates that you have. Um, and then again, we'll we'll cover some of these other topics um, in future classes to break some of this down a little bit further. Are there any questions on the templates? Liz, go ahead. I think I missed this in the beginning, but if you already have a Risen Womble website, what happens um, during this merge with the existing Risen Womble websites? So if you have an EAW now, um, we will be transferring you over to one of these. We are trying to make sure that you have, if you have any customizations at all, if you have, um, I know we have some agents who have a lot of customizations, we'll be working to make sure we get all of that over onto um, this side as well. And we have a list of people who um, who have more customizations, obviously, than others who we may need to to get with one on one for some of this. Um, a lot of the EAWs are still on the default website, and we will make sure that we get everybody get everybody moved over with the same information and things like that that it's available on the default website. Hopefully that answered your question. Yes. OK. I saw another hand, maybe. Go ahead, Carla. Thank you. Good morning. On the uh, if you have, uh, and you may have covered this, and I may have missed it, but um, if you have your own URL, um, would we be able to use that? And um, a second question would be: if we use borrowed listings and a potential buyer clicks on it, does it stay within our branding or connect them with the listing agent? Okay, let me take those questions one at a time. Um, we do have a full domain manager uh, connected to this. Um, if you have one of these sites, so if you have a site builder site or um, an EAW, um, you can connect a domain to it. Um, and a, a domain, if you're brand new to this, a domain does come with the website. So we actually help set it up and everything. Um, so yeah, you can have a custom website uh, domain on here. You can either bring it with you or we can help you procure one, either one. 
Um, and you can actually hook more than one domain to these as well. You have a primary domain that you can use, um, but if you have a secondary domain or if you have a domain that you like to use on very specific, like direct marketing, for example, um, you can certainly um, put additional domains on here as well. So um, your second question, uh, refresh my memory one more time on that, if you don't mind. Yes, um, if we have borrowed listings um, roll into our site, um, how will that work if someone clicks on it in terms of branding and staying with us? It's anything that is on your website belongs to you and is branded to you. So let me take a look at Ralston's site here, for example. So this is Ralston's website. Um, of course, um, if I click on this, he's not obviously an active, an active uh, broker here, or active seller. But if I click on this, I'm still on his website. All the branding is his. Everything is here. Um, this website is obviously provided by us as a company, but here's all the contact information and it's going to go directly to him because it is his website. So and this will this pertains to every single property in here. So, for example, I'm going to just go to search for homes on here. And. We actually have MLSs. We have all of these sites have um, the Richmond MLS, the Gloucester MLS, Williamsburg MLS, Rain, Outer Banks, and the NCR Regional MLS. So the 16 MLSs that are in North Carolina all installed on here. Um, now, because Ralston is um, not an active oops, yeah, um, agent on here, it's going to look a little different. It fills in a little bit more when you when you're a real agent, obviously. Um, but anything that's in here is going to be branded to him. So all of our listings obviously have our little logo on them. This is not one of our listings. So I'm okay. still on Ralston's website. This web this one is provided by um, Shaheen, Ruth, Martin and Fonville. And here again, here's all of his branding on all of this. Hopefully that answers your question. Yes, perfect. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Did I see another hand? I thought I saw somebody else pop up. Ray, go ahead. Yeah, I've got a couple of questions, uh, sure. Kristen. Um, for those of us that are not uh, really good at creating, is there assistance available to help us um, you know, create a really good website? So there is. Through, through the marketing group and everything? Um, so that actually falls under the web support team. Um, okay. So we help, uh, we actually help do a bunch of this kind of stuff um, and at least get you started. Sometimes uh, people want just directions on how to, you know, we'll do a couple of things up front and then directions on how to go forward from there. Um, but yes, assistance is available from our web support team. And of course, again, that's web support at rwtown.com. Um, and we handle a lot of this kind of digital, digital marketing and advertising on here. Mm -hmm. Okay. And is this is this fee driven or is this this is this is fee driven. So these um are forty dollars a month. And again, they come with all of those MLSs already installed. Um this connects to the entire CRM. Um Unlimited on uh, interior pages. We have, of course, the web support team behind you as far as just creating this kind of stuff. Um, it does support a lot of SEO search engine optimization, um, Google Analytics, all that kind of stuff. So they're pretty robust sites. OK, and then I, I, I think I know the answer to this, but you could set up a QR code to direct folks to this, right? Oh, absolutely. We do it all the time. Um, so we have QR codes that go down to the how much is your home worth tool. We have QR codes that go to specific listing pages. We have QR codes that go to the home page. If, if it exists on your website somewhere, it can have a custom QR code for it. Mm -hmm. OK, thank you. You're very welcome. All right, there's another hand up. Go ahead. Yes, the question I think someone else was asking, and I'm not sure it was completely answered. Sure. Was do you elect to have company listings rotating or on your site, and somebody clicks on that, the page is branded to you, but where does the lead go? If it's from, if it's on your website, the lead goes to you. So, for example, I'm uh, let me go grab a let me go grab a office website here or an office listing. So I'm on again, I'm on Ralston's website and I like this house. Obviously, he hasn't listed this home. This is listed by one of our other agents. Um, I am still on Ralston's website. I am working with him. He's my agent and I'm going to go ahead and fill out this form here that I want more information or I'm going to request more info. I am going to save it as a favorite. 
whatever I'm doing here on this particular listing, because I am on Ralston's website, this lead is going to go to him. Does that answer, does that answer the question? Oh, oh yes, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Um, Kimberly. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, that was me. I'm going to try to get my hand down, though. Okay. <laughs> Were there any additional questions on the templates? Carla, go ahead. Um, you mentioned that videos could be um, embedded. Would reels fall under video? And what about embedding voice? If you want to say something when somebody clicks on something. So I haven't had anybody actually ask to embed voice yet, but if you're using some kind of embedded tool where we can have voice, we could certainly do that. Most people actually put some kind of introduction video. And if they don't want to be on video, sometimes they'll just go ahead and do a voiceover over top of something like sold properties or just, you know, pictures of the area or something like that. Um, we usually encourage you to go in, in that direction just because video is so easy to install and everybody has video players on their phone and things like that. Um, does it support reels? So we can embed anything. Um, but if you are looking to do, for example, let me find one with a video background here real quick. Sorry, I don't have these labeled. Okay, you know what? I'm on Ralston's website. There we go. Um, a reel, because of the nature of that it's it's very vertical, won't work in this space. Um, we do need horizontal to do a background, but there's no reason why we can't embed a reel, for example, on a bio page or on a community page or something like that, where we can embed a video that's more vertical. Okay, thank you. You're very um, welcome. And it seems like um, with reels, it may just be easier to embed it via whatever social media platform you're bringing it over from? Sure, um, you know, we've we've had embeds come in from, we've had embeds come in from Instagram, we've had embeds come in from, from Facebook before. Um, uh, we really encourage everybody to kind of load up their stuff to YouTube, it's just the fastest platform and it makes life easy and they support YouTube Shorts now. So if you've created a reel um, for TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, whatever you've created it for, um, it's also supported on YouTube Shorts. So it's the same format, it's just super easy to embed and it always looks great. Okay, thank you. You're very welcome. All right, did anybody have any additional questions? These are some of my favorite classes, if you can't tell. I love talking websites and digital marketing. All right, since there's no additional questions, I'm gonna go ahead and end the class here. Um, I thank you all for joining me this morning for website templates. Um, I have two more classes today. We're gonna to talk about uh, Paradigm here at 11 o'clock. And then at 12, we're gonna talk about Google Business Profiles. And especially for those of you who should be everybody, um, who's gonna to have to do some changes to your Google Business Profiles. I hope you'll uh, join me for that class as well. Again, if you have any additional questions, uh, we're always available. Web support at bhstown.com or web support at rwtown.com is also working now. Thank you so much.